welcome to clickmyproject.com Our project title is library management system. Let's see the abstract. The library management system provides a real time information about the books available in the library and the user information. The main purpose of this project is to reduce the manual work. The project is specifically designed for the use of librarians and library users. The product will work as a complete user interface for library management process and library usage from ordinary users. In the proposed system, we assume that each student will have a student ID which, which can be used for the library book issue. Finally, payment. The student status of the issue written is maintained in the library database. The student details can be fetched by the admin from the database as, and when required, the valid students are also allowed to view their account information. Whenever a library student wishes to take a book, the book issued by the library authority will check the both the book details as well as the user details and store it in the library database. So the administrator can control the students and manage books. Let's see the flow diagram. Our project starts from the start menu and the library and, and that is three type of three type of roles. One is librarian, another one is student, another one is admin. So the library will log in to their account and issue books and search books. The student log into the accounts and return books, search books, borrow books. The admin can log in, manage and add books. So the librarian maintain issued books, maintain find details, etc. So the manager adds students details. Librarian uh, manage and add books. That means admin while managing and add books, he can add student details, librarian details, book details, etc. But here we are providing this. Uh, all information as a single manager log in a single manager log. Hence, in our project, there is a single login that is a manager. The manager will log into the account and, and do everything in this criteria. Let's discuss about the execution of the work process. At first, we are using our username and password uh, to log into the account. Uh, so here, only one administrator will man to maintain all the details. Uh, the administrator username and password is admin and admin. So the first option is customer details. The customer details uh, consists of the customer details. Uh, that is the customer ID, customer name, and everything. So here, you can add, update, delete, and build the customer details. Uh, so I'm going to add some details. So you can get the insert successfully message once everything is added successfully. Also you can edit the option using the edit option and after that you have to update. So here you can see under the niche name the hands letter has been removed. You can also delete some record by using like this. So I'm selecting some data and can delete the record. Afterwards I'm going to the home page. So as usual the home page the second option is the stock details. So this is the bookstore details. So you can see how many books are present in our library. And after that, the book details. The book details consists of the new new book entry and new book update everything. So here you can add a new book and update anything and update a new records. So, so I'm going to give some book code, name, an author name, and publisher, and the quantity and the price of the book. So I can add, add, so add some books. So uh, so I'm going to do this. Uh, so here I am I'm going to edit some details. So delete. You can use this delete option to delete the details. Uh, so after that, uh, the third, the third option uh, is the purchase details. Uh, purchase data consists of all purchase details of this uh, year and the sales details. Uh, the sales bill details consists of all the sales details of the book and the purchase details reports by dates the positive by reports by dates consists of the reports that was in between some days when you give a proper date uh, you can get the result in between result between those dates but now there is no results in between these days if there is means you can find it and after that, the sales report the sales report as usual we are given by two days uh, and you have to Select the date, give the date, uh, start it and end date, and you can see any result uh, between these days. And after that, I'm, go uh, I'm going to select the pre order request. Pre order request is just nothing but like uh, uh, the pre request by the customer before ordering the product, and the history and contact text page. <coughs> so, this is our process. Uh, 
can also what we can do is here we are using access, da access database ms access database so the database was everything used to if you give the wrong entry it will be right we validate the data so as as per i already told it is in uh, my sql ms sql is used as a background so everything is um, be stored as a table um, here you can see the customer id so now i am going to uh, give the customer id so to edit the option uh, directly to edit the option you have to you need to give the customer id so the customer id sorry the customer id should be that uh, field so the customer id when you, when you give the customer id properly it will generate the result the result will be customer name phone number and uh, address and the date so here you can update the details uh, and delete the details to delete a particular details you want to select the particular record and you can delete the details so also you can view the details so some little bit brief expansion is this so you can use this option for your purpose just type customer details every form will, will provide uh, in uh, every every form has some uh, features like this and you can use that uh, use use this with your uh, permission mm. and then uh, the the date the date picker is here used so the date picker can be will be used to you can also update the date picker so the date picker is used to uh, fill the dates uh, in an easy way so this is our project so here using this you can uh, manage the bookstore management system thank you thank you